areas. But what exactly is causing the recent surge in cases in Nueces County? People during holidays tend to gather together, they, they are traveling more, they are meeting more relatives and friends and family. Those are some of the reasons that the flu is on the rise. While it may be difficult to avoid your relatives this holiday season, you can avoid exposure to the flu by taking the proper steps to protect yourself. The best way to protect yourself is to get an annual seasonal flu vaccine. It reduces your risk for complications, hospitalizations, and even death. Most insurance plans cover the cost of a flu shot at a pharmacy or your doctor's office. But if you're uninsured, no need to worry. The health department provides free flu shots for anyone who does not have insurance. If you do not have insurance, you can walk in, you do not need an ID, and you do not need an appointment to get vaccinated for flu. The Corpus Christi Health Department offers flu vaccines for children and adults at 1702 Horn Road, as well as through mobile clinics. They are also working with homeless shelters to provide flu vaccines to the homeless population. Our biggest thing is we want people to get vaccinated. Dr. Khan can't stress enough how important it is for everyone to get the flu vaccine and to take the proper steps to help keep yourself and your loved ones safe from the flu. For more information on free flu resources around the Coastal Bend, visit ChrisTV.com. In Corpus Christi, Aaron Holly, Chris 6 News. Hey everyone, it's Taylor Alanis. Veterinarians are warning people about a mysterious illness amongst dogs around the country. The latest case is right here in Texas. So whether a trip to the dog park or across state lines, people need to think about leaving their pooches behind. The problem with that statement is positive for what? Veterinarians in at least 18 states in the U.S. are warning people about a new respiratory illness, one they can't quite put their finger on. They still have not found what we call the etiological causative agent. And by that I mean they want to know what's causing it. Dr. Alan Garrett is a veterinarian at Everhart Animal Hospital in Corpus Christi. Is it a virus? Is it a bacteria? According to Texas A&M University School of Veterinary Medicine, some dogs have even died. The symptoms similar to kennel cough and other upper respiratory infections in canines. Coughing, sneezing, nasal discharge, and watery eyes. Some dogs may get a fever or have a loss of energy or appetite. Garrett says he hasn't seen any cases come into his office, but it could be a matter of time. There are so many unknown entities about this that's a little bit scary. What makes it scary is the fact that during the holiday season, people travel. And traveling is how diseases spread. People take their dogs, go from, you know, visit grandma, grandpa, travel across state lines. If your dog is a carrier, it can spread to a dog it's visiting with or even one at the groomer. If you want to go for a walk, keep your dog away from other dogs. Try to maintain probably several feet distance uh, would be the best thing I can recommend. To avoid dog parks. Garrett says he gets updates on this illness from the Texas Veterinary Medical Diagnostics Lab. Unfortunately, there's no specific treatment. There's no specific test at this point. If your dog is experiencing any kind of illness symptoms, whether respiratory or not, make sure you call your vet. Now, I did reach out to some grooming and boarding facilities who tell me that they know about this illness and are making sure to disinfect their facilities as well as make sure every single animal that enters is vaccinated. Taylor Alanis, Chris 6 News. Amid all of the holiday hustle and bustle, community leaders are encouraging people to pause and remember the less fortunate. Those who are living on the streets and also homeless people who passed away this year. I'm Michelle Lorenzo at Cheryl Veterans Memorial Park. On Friday morning during sunrise, dozens of people gathered here to pay their respects during the 23rd annual National Homeless Persons Memorial Sunrise Service. After a prayer, the names of 32 homeless individuals who passed away this year were read out loud. Flowers represented those who were honored and they were placed in the bay. It's an amazing event because it gives a dignified send off for those individuals that didn't have a funeral, that didn't have anything. They all have a story, they all have a situation. And for us to, to recognize and properly send them off, it's the proper thing to do. Can you 
Hudson also says this event shows the reality of the homeless issue we have in Corpus Christi. 627 homeless individuals were identified in our area during the most recent homeless count. Knutson says that number doesn't entirely represent our homeless population, and there's likely more. Now let's join Clara Benitez-Cortez in the studio for a look at other stories we're covering today. Thank you, Michelle. The 35th annual HEB Feast of Sharing is tomorrow, but some of the city's homebound and elderly residents who can't make it got a taste of some holiday cheer today. Can, can. Hello, Mills on Wheels. HEB and the Corpus Christi Parks and Recreation Department partnered to deliver 1,200 meals today. The food was prepared, packaged, and bagged at the Del Mar West Campus. HEB trucks loaded up the bags of meals and delivered them. Hello. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you very much. God bless you all. Yes. God bless you. Merry Christmas. The Feast of Sharing for the entire community is tomorrow from 11 a.m. until 3 p.m. It's being held at the American Bank Center. The Corpus Christi Police Department promoted two of its officers whose experience spans nearly 30 years. Just in time for Christmas, Officer Samantha Baldwin and Pedro Ibarra were honored Friday morning. Baldwin rises to the rank of captain, representing one of three women in the department who holds rank. She has served more than 11 years with CCPD. Ibarra was promoted to lieutenant after serving 18 years. Both officers credit family, friends, and fellow officers at today's ceremony for their success. Firework stands have opened across the coastal bend, but before you light a single fuse, make sure you know the rules. Here in Corpus Christi, it is illegal to set off fireworks inside city limits. Having fireworks within city limits is also against the law. If you're caught setting off fireworks or you are found in possession of fireworks, you can be fined up to $2,000 per package. Firefighters in Odom can breathe a sigh of relief. I'm Victoria Balderrama with your neighborhood news. This is Odom's fire tanker back at this firehouse for the first time in more than a year. We were on a call and the tanker and the engine, the pumper were both going and uh, it, she just went out within about 30 seconds and blew the engine. That happened back in November of 2022, leaving the fire department without a mobile water source. 80% of our calls involve this tanker because if we're not in city limits proper, then we have to take the water to the fire. And working without the tanker was a challenge for more than a year. Firefighters did what they could with the equipment they had and the help of other fire departments. The siren. A lot of times we would run out of water and literally have to wait on an, another responding entity to, to arrive with a uh, refill. The tanker truck was fixed in July, but there was a problem. But it, the truck was sitting at the repair shop finished, but we couldn't get it until the bill got paid. A bill that needed to be paid by the city of Odom, but they were going through financial hardships at the time. The city nearly broke. Mayor David Maldonado spoke with the repair shop and they got more time to pay the bill. That was approved, you know, prior to me coming in. Uh, so I felt that, you know, I wasn't going to do that to one of our vendors because, you know, when we do need repairs and stuff, they're there for us. Uh, so we kind of found a way. He found a way, it was paid, and the Odom Volunteer Fire Department got its tanker truck just a few days ago. Uh, I love that. Firefighters told me while they would like new equipment, they are thankful to have this tanker back, as this tanker makes their job a whole lot easier when it comes to saving lives. I'm reporting in Odom, Victoria Valderrama, Chris 6 News. A stocking filled with goodies and made with love and care. Coming up, we'll show you why the simple gift meant the world to veterans. Health complications or loneliness can cause a serious case of the holiday blues, but several people in our community have been as busy as elves, hoping to bring joy, peace, and love to people who may need it the most.
With all the handmade ornaments, glitter, and light, you probably could have guessed that Christmas is the Sells family's favorite time of the year. Now that we have grandchildren, it's even more my favorite time because it's just absolutely amazing. One, I'm a Christian. You know, baby Jesus is really important to me. So, but two, people show more love this time of year. The cells have also been doing their part, hoping to spread the love and some holiday cheer. The couple's home was like the North Pole, and as if they were Santa's elves, Kelly and Sherry went to work, making more than 50 stockings for veterans in Corpus Christi. Kelly, who is also a veteran, created the graphics and design. And once that was done, Sherry pieced it all together. Every stocking was personalized with the logo of a military branch and each veteran's name. We haven't always had the money to do things nice for us, but now that we have the money to do for others, we want to try to give back. The best part of making things for other people and giving them to them I think it's part of your anticipation of what they're going to feel. When I'm making a project, that's exactly what I'm thinking about. I'm thinking about how their face is going to light up when they receive that item. Hello, Mr. Garcia. The medical team at the VA got to experience that part. They stuffed all the stockings with goodies and delivered them to vets during the weeks leading up to Christmas. So it is a token of love from us. I think that it's just a small reminder that we really care for our veterans. Um, we want to go above and beyond and make sure that they know that we're thinking about them this holiday season. Most of the stockings went to veterans in the VA's home-based program. Well, we just wanted to wish you a Merry Christmas and let you know we are thinking about you. It's a health care service that provides care to veterans at their homes. Some are battling ongoing diseases or illnesses. Others are isolated. You give me a call if you need anything. But this small gift made their holiday just a little more bright. Well, this last couple of years kind of sad, but uh, thanks to you this year, it was better. <laughs> Dr. Livingston and the Sells family hopes people are inspired to keep giving even after the holiday season. They say a gift doesn't have to cost money. You can give the gift of kindness or even time. Reporting from Corpus Christi, I'm Michelle Lorenzo, Chris 6 News. This Now, your Chris 6 weather forecast. Oh, this is a beautiful one here. Look at the Snoopy cam looking southwest across the Laguna Madre toward Flower Bluff, and it is a magnificent scene out there. The clarity of the atmosphere, the multiple layers of clouds, that is just photographic quality. And of course, yeah. That's Corpus Christi for you. Let's take a look at the satellite radar loop. You've got multiple layers of clouds, as you just saw on that live image, and the shower is now well.